Hi everyone and a very warm welcome to this week's Warn or Dev Blog. At least it's part Dev Blog, part I don't know how to describe it. It's a bit cringe and it's not Eugen's fault it's a bit cringe. It's a selection of the community which is extremely abusive and riles other people up that has caused Eugen once again to have to explain to people how development works, how they're not trying to, you know, deliberately slow things down or ruin their game and all of this other nonsense and then explain to everybody again that they will not tolerate racism generally abuse things like this i mean but at the end of the day i'll read out some of what they've said here which is so we hear you loud and clear and we would like to apologize for the delays in development and releasing updates for warno this is not something that we do on purpose keep in mind that eugen is a not that big a team and delays technical issues roadblocks and whatnot typically beset game development and then I'm going to read the, the start of the next paragraph just because I feel like it's the most poignant one to me because we all have played Warno and we've played Eugen's previous games probably some of us or the majority of us and it's that they say this please understand that Warno our other titles or even the studio is not a scam or that we are trying to piss off our community or that we don't want our games to succeed. It's really sad that they've had to get to the point of saying something like that. I mean, how dense are some of the community that they believe that you, Jen, don't want their game to succeed? It's what pays their bills, feeds their families. I mean, there are plenty of small developers that have appeared with early access titles that have just abandoned their games. Eugen's never abandoned their games. They're still making updates for games that are very, very old now. So yeah, no dev team's perfect, but they really don't deserve people saying stuff like that to them. Right, enough about all of that. Let's move on to actually talking about what's next for Warno. So the first thing is to say that they are obviously working on forward operating bases. They say they're still tweaking the implementation of the FOB concept, but expect hardened structures that allow a certain amount of supply transfer. More details will be coming soon. There's the new urban map, Twin Cities. Check out some of the preliminary visuals in one of the previous dev blogs. The map is done and they're just waiting for Udenor's hotfix patch to ship before they test it with the strike team and then it should be streamed in no time. So let's hope this coming weekend perhaps, but no promises I'm sure. In my head I'm doubting it's going to happen this weekend. So on top of that, they're also working on a smaller urban map, initially designed only for Army General to replace SD2's urban auto-resolve. It will finally be released for multiplayer, expect some setting restrictions due to its small size. And then there is the map Darkstream, which was presented in a previous dev blog, and it will also be released very shortly. It was created and intended to be released with the new amphibious ability in Warno. They also say that the map builders are collecting all the community feedback and using this to improve and enhance existing maps, and a host of new infantry units are going to be implemented where historically possible to take advantage of new unit traits. So then they move on to that section, so the new units and their traits they're planning to add missing Soviet and East German military police. They're adding or reworking existing units to give the USSR, East Germany and France their missing ground surveillance radar units. Adding in additional sniper teams for every nation. A new MiG-29 loadout and associated skin. You can have a little look at that on the picture behind. And then they finish up the dev blog by just talking about Warno's latest release, the Udino Milestone. We all know about that. You can check out the previous videos. You can check out the Steam page, etc, etc. Let's not worry about that. We won't go into all those details again. But one thing to mention is definitely the upcoming tournament being run once again by SD League and our friend Protozoka. So he's organizing a new tournament which is called the Warno Super League and it's happening this weekend. Make sure you put it in the calendar January 28th and 29th and we'll showcase who has best adapted to the new way of doing war. Obviously we're only a few days away. I will leave a link down below to the sign up for that. However, obviously it's just a first come first serve basis and it's up to 32 players so you might end up on a reserve list if you sign up rather than actually getting into the tournament but protoss will obviously contact everybody where it is relevant well that's all for this week folks thanks very much for watching please do like share subscribe for those without instagram please do feel free to hang around and i'll stick a couple of those pictures in and you can have a look at those at your leisure